very good morning this is Devashish Sharkar an English teacher of Milestone School and College now I'm going to conduct an English class of class 8 today I'll talk about a model question from Navudud book model question number 25 okay let's start Welcome to the English class with Mr. Ravashi Sharkar. Today I am going to talk about um, model question number 25. This is from uh, EFT, EFT 20, uh, EFT unit 6, lesson 6. Today here we will know about the instructions of a flight. Okay, you read the text and answer the four questions. Then this is the text. Oxygen and the air pressure are always being monitored. That means before take off, the authority of a, fly, of a flight or the authority of, of the aircraft. Time and again they check oxygen and the air pressure. Then in the event of the lack of oxygen, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. That means uh, during the flight, if there is any lack a, a lacking of oxygen, in that uh, automatically in that time, an uh, oxygen mask will appear in front of the passenger. Then what we should do? Pull the mask towards you and place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Then a passenger needs, uh, needs to uh, pull the mask toward him or her and place it firmly over his or her nose and mouth. Then. Uh, secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally then you uh, a passenger also has to do uh, also secure the elastic band of the mask behind the head and continue breathing normally if you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance secure your mask first and then assist the other person there is another instruction uh, if any passenger travels with a child or someone who needs assistance, in that case, at first the passenger uh, has to, the, that means the young passenger has to um, secure his mask first, then try to assist other, other person. Keep your mask on until your uniform crew member advises you to remove it. That you will have to, that means the passenger has to keep the mask on until a uniform crew member advises to remove it. Then, in the event of an emergency, please assume the blessing position. That means, in the time of emergency, the, every passenger has to um, keep or ha ha has to take the blessing position. What is blessing position? At first, uh, we will uh, see a image, see an image. Here is the image of blessing position. Look, this is the blessing position. Okay, at the time of emergency, we will have to take this position. A blessing position, a lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. This is blessing position, and also ensure your feet are flat on the you get it you see uh, you have seen the image and try to match it lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs ensure your feet are flat on the floor then a light vest is located in a pose under your seat or between the seats. there is also another thing that is a light vest uh, that is uh, always a passenger will find it in a pose maybe it is under the seat or between the armrest when instructed to do so open the plastic pose and remove it, remove the vest vest is a life jacket you know uh, when that means at the time of emergency if your crew or the pilot instructed you to do so open the plastic post and remove the vest slip it over your head 
pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. That means you will, what you will have to do, you will have to slip it, uh, slip it over your head and pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. That means at the front of the vest there is an adjust, adjusting, adjusting point. To inflate, to inflate the vest will firmly on the red cord. That means when you will have to adjust it, you will have to pull firmly, very strongly you will have to pull on the red cord in front of the in front at the front part of the vest before you leave the aircraft that means uh, if you do not pull it for that means if you do not inflate it inflate the vest firmly in that case it, it will uh, create any trouble so uh, before you leave or before leaving the aircraft you will have to fix it firmly here is a picture of live vest. You, this is the live, this is the live vest, and at the time of emergency, if you are instructed, you will have to wear it. And where you will get it, you will get it on, under the, in a pause under your seat or beside the armrests, okay, or between the armrests. And then look, there is a red cord uh, in the front side of the vest. You will have to firmly pull it. Uh, uh, firmly pull it or strongly pull it to fix it. There. Yeah. We remind you that this is an unsmoking flight. That means the crew members are also reminding the passengers regarding that uh, reg regarding the flight is not smoking, fully not smoking. That means no passenger is allowed to smoke in the flight or during the flight. You will find this and all the other safety information in the card located in the seat pocket in front of you. That means everything, every instructions you will have in a safety, that means in a card. Um, Look at and where, where this card will be located, this card will be located in the seat pocket in front in front of the passenger or in front of, yes. We strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. Uh, the crew member are also ensuring that, uh, are suggesting uh, the passenger that, uh, suggesting passengers to read, uh, read about the instructions or informations in the card. Uh, time and again before taking off if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members and also they are making sure that or they are suggesting that if any passenger has any or if any passenger have any question or if uh, any uh, any question arise they are uh, they are requested to ask any of the crew members hesitated, hesitation freely and finally they wish we wish you all an enjoyable flight and finally they wish the passengers to have a, an enjoyable flight with them okay um, we have finished reading the text i think you everybody understood now we will talk about some word meanings. Word meaning at the very beginning of the word meaning, uh, that the number one instructed, instructed, you know, instruction, instruction, uh, instructed, and instruct. Instruct is the verb form, and instructed is the verb, uh, past participle form of the present form. A verb instruct. Uh, this is a verb, and uh, what is its meaning? Its meaning is briefed. That means uh, be before doing something, some, uh, someone responsible give res instruction to the other, to the others or to others. Number two, information. Information is a noun, and its meaning is message. Information that means sometimes uh, we. We may say data or data, 
but message is appropriate one. Then number two or number three, automatically. Automatically is a is an adverb. It means spontaneously. It may its meaning is spontaneously. Number four is firmly. Firmly is also an adverb, and its meaning is st strongly. Then number five. Number five, assume. Assume is a verb, and its meaning is consider. Number six, inflate. Inflate that means inflate is a verb, uh, and its meaning is increase. Assist. Assist that means assist is a verb, and its meaning is help. Everybody know it. Then number eight, monitor. Monitor is the third form of verb monitor. Monitor means check. Monitor means check. Then comes number nine. Number nine, appear. Appear is also a verb, and its meaning is to present, to present something. Number ten, safety. Safety is a noun, and its meaning is security. Okay, it's dear students, we have learned about ten. What meaning? Uh, now uh, we will go for uh, the MCQ question. Now, dear students, in your JSC uh, syllabus, in question number one, there is MCQ. That means multi multiple choice question. There will be seven multiple. There will be seven multiple choice question. This question contains one mark, and among this uh, seven MCQ questions, there will be some uh, what many uh, what meaning based question and other other question as well. So let's talk about MCQ question. And when you will go for answering the MCQ question, you will have to keep in mind that you will have to read the instruction very clearly. Here, look the instruction of question number one. Choose the correct answer from the alternatives given and write the corresponding numbers only in your answer script. That means, dear students, did you get it? You, are, you will have to write only the corresponding number of the option, not the words. But here in my slides, you will have both corresponding number and the words. But in your exam papers, you must write or write the corresponding numbers only. Okay? Okay, now look. Number eight. The word instructed means we have learned it in word meaning section. Here you will have options. There are four options: briefed, told, said, educated. I think you have understood the meaning because in insta in uh, what meaning section we learnt instructed. Okay, instructed means briefed. Okay, let's take the answer. Yes, the answer. Yes, option one, briefed. Did you get it? That means you will have to pick the more appropriate, more suitable one. From the options or from the alternatives, you will see the, 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 there there will uh, there may be some words very close in meaning, but you will have to pick the more suitable one. Number B. The word information means information of what what we are uh, learnt it. We got the meaning of information in what meaning section? It is maybe messages or yes, yes. Here is the OK. Look at the options. Yes. There are the options. Four options. So option number one, data. Option two, message. Option three, report. Option four, space. Yes. When we learned uh, what meaning we talked, information means message, maybe. Yes. Data is also, uh, also close in meaning, but if there is message, message will, will be the more appropriate one. Okay. In that case, we will pick message. Or in this section, the students have to pick the more suitable one. So let's check the answer. 
Yeah, yes, it is option two, methods. Now, number C. The word automatically means, can anybody remember? I think you everybody could remember. Uh, we learned it in a word meaning section. Okay, now, here, here are the options. There are four options. Option number one is irresistibly, number two, unwillingly, number three, speedily, number four, spontaneously. Which will be the appropriate one? I think we got it, yes? Yeah, option four, spontaneously will be the uh, more suitable one, I think. Yeah, okay, let's check it. Yes, this is option four, spontaneously. Dear yeah, students, did you get it? You will have to pick the more appropriate one from the alternatives. Okay, now, go, number D. Number D is, this is not word meaning, this is another, this is, uh, there will be, that means it's uh, like fill in the blanks. Oxygen mask is kept dash the passengers. Yes, here are the options. Option number one, behind. Option two, before. Option three, with. Option four, beside. Uh, I think you, have, you could understand. Yes, you can pick. Which will be the? appropriate one yes yeah, option two before oxygen mask is kept before the passengers yes let's check it yes this is option number two before then number e the cabin crew tell the passengers to read the dash information before takeoff dear students i think you understood the answer right Cabin crew tell this to tell the passengers to read the dash information. It, okay, here is the options. Option number one, weather. Option number two, flight. Option number three, safety. Option number lag, uh, four, luggage. Which will be the appropriate one? Yes, safety information. Option number three. Okay, let's check it. Yes, this is option number three, safety. Then, number F, the cabin crew asked the passengers to dash the bracing position during emergency. The cabin crew asked the passengers to dash the bracing position during emergency, okay? And in emergency, there is an instruction in the passes. Okay, here is the options. Number one, take. Number two, leave. Number three, keep. Number four, foot. Passengers two, I think, which will be, you could understand or you got it, yes? Option number, yes. Option number one, take. Okay, let's check it. This is option number one, take. The cabin crew take, uh, cabin crew ask the passengers to take the passing position during emergency. Now, number G. A passenger can pull on the dash cord to expand the vest. That means in that uh, in the time of emergency, uh, you will have to put on a light vest. Yes, and how you can expand it? Pulling the dash cord, pulling the red cord strongly. Yes, we got it. Okay. Look the options yellow card, red card, green card, blue card. I think it will be option two red card. Yes, there is a clear in uh, clear there is a clear instruction in the text before before uh, leave the aircraft. You will have to uh, fix. You will have to uh, expand the vest, pulling strongly the red card of the best right okay dear students now we are going to talk about question answer in your question pattern in question number two there will be question answer how many questions will there be set There will be four questions A, B, C, 
D. And his question contains two marks. That means question number two is of eight marks. And how these two marks of his question is allocated? One marks for picking the right answer and another one is for the grammatical correction. That means if you students, if you pick the correct words or correct information or correct answer from the text and write it but not grammatically correct, you will have one. And if you may, if you can write properly or to may, uh, may, making sure the grammatical correction or grammatically correct, in that case you will have two. But if you cannot pick the correct information, in that case if you write in uh, proper proper or grammatically correct uh, grammatically uh, correct in that case you will have zero did you get it the, what is the most important thing to answer the uh, questions picking the correct answer picking the right answer this is the very important thing okay let's talk here is question number one or question number a which things are always monitored before takeoff? In this section, students, uh, you will try to write the answers, taking words from the question. Like, look, which things are always monitored before takeoff? And uh, you, how you will write the answer? You will try to write the answer like this. There is, a, uh, there is a clear instruction, okay, in this, uh, in this section, air uh, oxygen and air pressure are always monitored before takeoff. That means we pick two words from the text and the rest of the words we have taken from the question. Oxygen and air pressure, these two words are picked. From the passes and are always monitored before takeoff. They are taken from the question. That means you will have to take words from the question, or you will have to make answer using the words used in the question. So, what will be the answer? Oxygen and air pressure are always monitored before takeoff. Okay, let's take the answer. Yes, here. Look, oxygen and air pressure are always monitored before takeoff. Now, question number two or B. What will you do first if you travel with a child or someone who requires assistance? There is a clear instruction in the text, okay? Uh, if you want, you can read the text again and again. But if you uh, read the text um, properly beforehand, uh, when you were to answer the questions, you need not to check it again. What will you do first if you travel with a child or someone who requires assistance? I will write the answer like this. If I travel with a child or someone who requires assistance, in that case, at first, I will secure my safety or my mask, then I will uh, assist other person. Did you get it? That means, whose safety is first? At first, the individual's safety, then the others. Now, check the answer. Yes, this is the answer. If I travel with a child, I will secure my mask first and then assist the other person. We can also write, if I travel with a child, I will secure 
my safety first then and then I will assist the other person okay now number three number three or C when can the safety information be found did you get the question where can the safety information be found just think uh, of the uh, text at the uh, last paragraph of the text we got the information yes when cabin crew was suggesting or uh, giving suggestion to the passengers safety information so how we can write the answer we can pick words from the question the safety information then can be found have you seen the construction of the answer the safety information can be found in a card in a card located in the pocket in front of the passenger seat did you get it the safety information can be found in a pocket in front of the passenger seat okay now look the question answer the safety information can be found in the card located in the seat pocket in front of a passenger you will have to construct the answer using the words used in the question the only then your answer will be more uh, excellent now number D question number D what will you do at the time of emergency that means now look the text is about instruction during a flight and this is this question is all about your uh, uh, that means your activities during emergency what you will do there are clear informations in the text and you will have to pick down pick them here what will you do that means the answer will start like this i will or at the time of emergency uh, i what what i will do okay check the answer here at the time of emergency i will have to assume the pressing position what you will have to do at the time of emergency i will have to take or assume the pressing position it means what is pressing position it means to lean forward with my hands on top of my hand head and keeping my elbows on the thighs also making sure that the feet are flat on the floor now look we have seen uh, an image beforehand regarding pressing position did you remember it okay if you forget it okay i'm showing it to you again now look this is the pressing position at the time of emergency we'll have to assume this position then we can we can be safe now okay this is the time for homework now dear students they write down the these five questions and you will have to write the answers and when your school will be on or will be opening in that in that time you will submit your homework copy to your subject teachers and i think if everybody will do this and follow this and it will be beneficial to you okay thank you thank you very much all the best uh, that means if you study regularly you can be your preparation 
will develop you in this uh, in this unavoidable or gruesome situation uh, we should we should be um, united you should be that means continuing your studies okay uh, if if you face any inconvenience or if you face any problem regarding the text uh, please call me in this number uh, you will i will make you understand okay thank you this is all